There's a few people out there that have been making videos about me and others of you, not just me. Um, and there's a woman on YouTube that's been making videos about those of us that talk about the rapture. And yesterday, I came across a video about me, and the title of it is A Case Study on Rapturist Personality Disorder. And I honestly, it struck me funny. <laughs> I think what's funny is, you know, the she takes the clips of my videos and others' videos that she wants to use for you to perceive um, the wrong notion about us, right? She uses very specific clips. So you don't get the context of the whole video. You just get us saying something and it may make us look bad or you might not really understand what we're saying because you don't have the context of the whole video. but. I really appreciate when people cover stories like this about me and other people because it drives people to the channel to watch the full videos and actually get the truth. It just baffles me how much it bothers people that it excites us that we are waiting for the rapture because every single day he could come for his faithful church any day at any moment. And it's at the forefront of our minds. And we are just like the five wise virgins that were obedient and kept oil in their lamps and kept their lamps lit while they waited for the bridegroom. That's us. And what bride doesn't dream every single day about her wedding? And Bro Chooch of TOL End Times last night, I was watching his video. He has a late night watch. I love it. And uh, he said, if you had a friend that was getting ready to get married and she didn't talk about her wedding, she didn't seem excited, never mentions it, and she's not gushing over her bridegroom-to-be, wouldn't you ask her, do you really love this guy? And so this is why we talk about him coming back because we love him and we're longing for him. And our hearts are not for the things of this world. Our hearts are for him. Our hearts are sold out for him. And for those of you who say, you know, just wait till the tribulation comes and you're not raptured, you're going to fall away. I mean, come on. Our faith is not that shallow. Okay. I'm going to speak for myself, but I know I'm speaking for a multitude of you out there. I will wait until my last breath. I would dig a hole 50 feet deep before I ever comply with what's coming and what control they're going to try to bring upon us. I would I would hide out in a hole. I, I, and if they find me, they find me. I really don't care. I'm not the type of person that's easily manipulated at all. At all. I don't let anyone push their will on me. I make my own decisions. I run to God first. That's why I said no to the, nope. No one will push their will on me. And not for nothing, we are living in a time where you can't trust the powers that be. You can't trust medicine. You can't trust medical uh, staff. I mean, you can't trust anyone. My Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. We're just living in a time where there's so much deception and so much harm they're trying to cause people. The powers that be are just, you, you can't see that they just want to eliminate us. I mean, that is not conspiracy. That is truth when you see everything going on. So why? Why would I fall away if, if we weren't raptured? I want nothing to do with anything in this world. Nothing. Jesus is my all. He is my everything. And for those who are sold out, We'll endure whatever we have to endure. But we do know he is going to rapture us because the Bible says so. And so while we wait for that time, we will be about our father's business, preaching the gospel, leading the law, sounding the alarm that time is short because we really don't know when that moment is going to be. But we know it's soon. Because Hebrews 25 says that we will see the day approaching. And this is how we see it approaching. Let's just talk about the destructive weather everywhere. And again, 
things you don't see on the mainstream media. you got to follow the right weather channels and the right people. There's far too many for me to list here, but you got to get on. You got to do, you have to be your own press. You got to do your own research and be your own press today to get any truth. But let's see why and how we know that the day is approaching because we have destructive, record destructive weather, destructive fires, floods, destructive earthquakes every day all day my feed is going off and i have mine set for 5.0 and above we see pestilences famines that have started and that are just going to be coming at lightning speed the talk of aliens every single day and the impending one world order that is about to be launched this year and honestly I'm not looking to be popular. I could care less. I'm not looking to be right. I'm just looking to be where Jesus is and to bring as many people with me to heaven as I can. And if it pains you to watch us and see our immense excitement for our bridegroom, then relieve yourself and do yourself a favor and just unsubscribe or go watch something else because if watching and longing for jesus christ every single day is wrong then i don't want to be right